Let's learn how to initialize a Git repository inside of a pre-existing project. So I have this brand new Gradle project here and all it's doing is printing out a hello world. But now I want to add a version control system to it. So I'm just gonna add a Git repository to it. How I can do that is I can go over here to the left hand side and click on the source control tab. Now you can also open this with control shift G and then hitting G again, or you can find it by going to view and then go to source control and it will open up this window. Now I don't have a repository initialized yet, so it gives me a couple options here. One of them is to initialize a repository and that's what I'm gonna do. I'll just click this. So now we're met with a list of files that are all untracked changes in our application. And what we wanna do is we wanna track them and then commit them to a branch. If we go down here to branches, we can see that the Git repository inside of VS Code decided to create a main branch for us. And that's our initial branch that we can commit to. We currently have it checked out with this check button. So now with this list of untracked changes, we need to actually stage them so that we can commit them. We can do that by hovering over the changes dropdown here and then hitting this plus sign to stage all of the changes that you see in this list. Now, if there's a file in here that you don't want to stage, you can actually go and individually click on the files that you do want to have staged inside of your repository. So for my application, all of these files actually do need to be added to my repository. So I'm just gonna click this stage all changes button and you'll see that this has now changed from the changes dropdown to the staged changes dropdown. From here, we can go up to this text box and type in a message for our commit. For me, I'll just say initial commit. And then now we can hit this commit button and it will automatically commit our changes to the main branch. We can see that by going to the explorer and if we change something inside of our file, like another exclamation point here, and then it gets saved, you can see it updates and now it's a little yellow. And if we go back to our source control tab, we can see that underneath changes, we have something has been modified. And now we can again do the same thing by staging the changes, say, a new message, I wanted another exclamation and hit commit. And now we've committed our second commit and we can actually see our source control graph just below our source control commit panel. We can even click one of these commits to see actually what was changed and the diff between the beginning state and the end state of that commit. So you can see in the, I wanted another exclamation commit that all there was that was changed was an added exclamation point. And that is the basics on creating and committing to a repository inside of VS Code.